we are going to create another S3 bucket in the EU West 3 region using Postman. Postman is a tool that is used by developers for building and using APIs. Using Postman, we are going to send an HTTP request to Amazon to create an S3 bucket. We have in our S3 management console one bucket that is not related to this topic. In Postman, we have one method called create bucket. It is a put method and the URL consists of the bucket name, which you can see in the pop-up, dot S3, dot the region, dot Amazon, AWS, dot com. Besides the URL, we also have an XML script in the body of the HTTP request. Here again is the region where the bucket will reside. For this to happen, one has to have authorization. And even though we're not seeing them, because they're in an enclave in Postman, we are transmitting these credentials that are associated with a policy that allows these credentials to create S3 buckets. When we hit send, we get back a status of 200 OK. And if we look at what is returned in the headers, we get a number of parameters. The first two are used by Amazon to trace back this call and are used for diagnostic information and for logging purposes. If we head over to our Amazon S3 console and refresh, we should see our newly created bucket. And the region, as we have requested, is EU West 3. The postman call is a low-level call, meaning it is the lowest denominator. The GUI, the SDK, or the CLI calls we referred to in other videos are higher level. For example, when we reference an SDK such as Python's BOAT03, the method to create a bucket gets translated to an HTTP request similar to the one we wrote in Postman. The question is, should we use these low-level API calls rather than the high-level ones? The answer is no. One reason is that the high-level alternatives are more compact and self-documented and easier to understand and use. A second reason is that AWS is the company responsible for all endpoints and AWS keeps all of them updated with high level API calls handling of status information be it success or error messages are easier to process within the environment in which they are called if we look at Python boat 03 package if the operation is successful or if the operation is not successful, the package automatically integrates into Python's mechanism. This means that if there is an error, one can capture the error and not have to do any intermediate processing to analyze, for example, a status code returned in an HTTP response. When we introduced the topic of an API, we spoke about the black box. In a way, we're looking at what's happening within the high-level API black boxes. It should not be something any developer or DevOps engineer should be concerned about. One should only use the low-level API calls either to understand what is happening behind the scene or if one is dealing with an endpoint that is not catered for through a high-level API provided by Amazon. A new programming language, a new interface, AWS does not provide a high-level package such as Boat03 for Python and therefore the only option that remains is to work 
with a low level API, which is guaranteed to work.